Hello everyone, I'm Simon, this is Stuart, and this is Upcycle TV. This video is going to be all about how important video is for your upcycle business. Video is really important because that's how the world in, of business is moving. You don't have to look at the growth of YouTube um, and the way social media is working. People have short attention spans, it's becoming shorter and shorter. So they want the information, they want it there. And people and, are and lazy. It, so yeah, if, they've got a, if they've got an option of either reading a page of text yeah. and looking at one pretty picture, they would probably rather just look watch a video. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you know, there's but, no reading, you can sit down, you can put your feet up and you can just watch a video and somebody's telling you everything that you need to know or want to know about with imagery yeah. at the same I mean, time. And it, it's just easier for people, isn't it, to, to... Definitely. Uh, we were talking earlier about Amazon being um, a search engine effectively. Yeah. And it's no different for YouTube. YouTube is a search engine. Yeah. Like people will put into the YouTube what they're looking for um, obviously not if they're looking to buy a product but they may do to look for reviews on that product yeah definitely. and it's no different for an upcycle business so if someone's thinking necessarily how to upcycle something which is obvious which is what we're doing with upcycle tv but but also um, they may be looking for say i know say how to make my living room look more homely or yeah. or different or yeah. interior design for my but yeah, it could be things like that you've got to think differently what is it that people are actually looking for or, or the actual object itself so let's just say that you've upcycled a, a dresser and you've got some before pictures and some before, after pictures you can put those into the video but you can also you can create a story so where did it come from you rescued it from a auction yeah. somewhere that you know it was looking yeah. a little bit yeah, because Drab or you're just creating that that story behind it and make people. It's so powerful. Yeah, really want because that, that's what that, the upcycle world is all about. You know, it is about the vintage. It is about saving things from landfill and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. and bring um, that to, story into it, and it's much easier to do with video. Yeah, the difficult bit with video is actually getting in front of the camera, and when you first yeah. do it, it, it oh. is difficult, isn't it? It's really difficult. I mean, well, I found found it really difficult. I'm sure I don't look polished and the finished product by any stretch of the imagination but I'm far better now than I was when we started yeah <laughs> the first times when we stood well the yeah. first time we stood and talked in front of a camera as soon as I went to speak I just shut down so yeah. it is tough and you have to just keep doing it yeah the and the more, more you, you do, do it, it yeah the easier it gets yeah, yeah exactly so, so yeah so just, you just, just keep going you've got to bite the bullet you got to crack on. it's you've like any skill done. right if you want to lay bricks if you want to paint furniture if you want to code a website, whatever it is, you know, it takes time. And the but more you do that, it, the better you get at it. That first time can be it's a little different. bit daunting, can't it? It's yeah. like, oh my God, am I using the right paint? Am I, you yeah. know, am I doing this the right way? What's... But once you've done it a few times, you start getting a little bit more confident yep. and think about it a little bit less and just crack on and do it. Definitely. And so, I suppose um, the biggest opportunity may not, for local upcycle businesses, may not be people searching YouTube. But then once you've made, but having made your YouTube video about your upcycle business and what you're doing is then using them videos and putting them on your website. So then yeah. when people hit your website, uh, they're seeing your videos, your story, they're seeing how good you are at upcycling. Yeah, and also that's really good for SEO as yeah. well, isn't it? So and a vid a Google um, and all the other search engines absolutely love videos. So if you've yeah. got videos on your website, just having them on there is going to push you up the rankings. OK, so we know it's important, we know it takes practice. What other key factors are there when you're making and getting videos? For me, the most important thing is audio. Because a lot of people think, oh, do I need a big fancy camera? Or, you know, what am I recording with? When you can just use your smartphone. The problem with smartphone is the audio is not very good. And there's some really terrible microphones out there. And I've mm. bought a couple in, in, in the past. Um, but I would say it's the one thing that you really need to invest some money in is that microphone. You know, if you've got a smartphone, they cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds. But microphone, a decent microphone like this, what we use are the are the Rode microphones. 
So a little lapel microphone like this. So we've got a short lead on it. Well, that's about 50 quid. Um, which sounds like a lot of money for a little thing like that. You can get cheap ones for probably like a fiver. But obviously it's not worth it. You really need that quality. It's worth paying. Um, and the road it's worth paying really for good. audio. You can't skip. You need to buy something half decent. Yeah. Um, but the standard video on your smartphone is... Yeah. is it's brilliant now. It's perfect for yeah. websites. Well, this is on camera, by the way, on a um, smartphone. Yeah. So you can see from this quality. So we're quite a long way away from the camera here as well. So you, 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 we've yeah. on, so what we do, in here. we, um, at the moment, we're using, we're just using extension cable. Again, it's worth getting a decent quality one. So again, this is a road one. I can't remember how much that was. It was like a tenner, was it? 20 quid? Um, I can't remember. Cast, I don't know. Offhand. Yeah. Um, but um, it's just a really good make as well. So it's Teflon, really tough. And the important yeah. thing with the road is that it's got these four different sections. Most of these little things, they've either got two or three, but it needs to have four if you're using a smartphone. If you're going to be using something like a, an SLR or digital SLR, something like that. You probably only need the three sections, but with smartphones, because it's a, a headphone jack, you need the full section so that it knows that it's a microphone. The, the, the only thing with the extensions is you've got a lot of cable yes. and it does sometimes get wound up. It's a bit laborious, isn't it? When you have to keep winding it up yeah. at the end of the videos and yeah. it gets tangled a little bit. It's not, it doesn't knot up, like it's not, it's quite good, but it's just a it little bit annoying. It up when you put it away, and then when you get it out, yeah. it's in one yeah. big tangle, which is a bit of a pain. But we, and we've also got that on a splitter. That's on a splitter. So okay. that means that both our mics going into one and then into the camera, so that obviously for two of us, it, you get the one sound. And which, it, by the way, this is amazing for editing, because what we used to do is we used to have a separate mic going into a dictaphone or something, yep. and they have to get the dictaphone and get the video file and match them both up, which is a headache. Oh, it's a right nightmare. It so it's much headache. better doing it this way. Straight yeah. into the phone, you've got the video, the phone, all synced up, ready to go. And that's, now, yeah, that's if you don't, If you don't want to use the extension cable, Rode also do this. Now, I'm not an affiliate of Rode. They don't pay me any money, but it's just because it's one of not those yet. really good, yeah, not yet. <laughs> um, it's just one of those really good products that, uh, that, that we like. So if you don't want to use the long extension cable, they do do these little wireless ones. This is expensive. I think it's about 170 quid, but brilliant because you just plug that bit goes into your phone. And then this bit, you can either use it. It's got a little microphone on it, so you can use it as a lapel mic, or you can just put it on your belt and then plug your lapel mic into it and then it's wireless. So you can, I find it really useful when I'm doing videos that require me to be doing something or turning around the other way and without yeah, if, worrying about getting tangled up you, in Yeah, that. if you're, because I did a video um, on the YouTube channel, you can find it, where I've um, built a summer house. So I was sawing, hammering, screwing, yeah. running around trying to put up a shed on my own, all sorts of stuff. And having the cable trailing about then was a nightmare. Yeah. It, that was difficult. So it would have been great to have had and this it, then. And it's if you forget that you were attached to your phone and you walk off. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so many times I've walked um, off and gone, Ugh, Yeah, and so you don't, you don't get that. the cable off. Yeah. Well, not literally snapped the cable, but pulled it out of the thing. Yeah. You don't get that with these. So that's really good. Yeah. But it does depend on what you're doing, what you're filming. If, you know, if you're just filming your finished piece like or now, you're filming yourself, good. you know, there's all, there's, there's different methods. So yeah. we're doing something a little bit more active, you, then you need, you need to consider that. But if you're just sat down like we are, it's not too bad having the extension. It's fine. Once it's all or, or if you're done. stood in front of your camera reading the auto cue, yeah. again, that's, that's fine just to have the cable, but if you're working, it's a great little gadget to yeah, have. Yeah, definitely. So um, a couple of other things that you'll probably need is a decent tripod, okay, one that's yeah, nice point. and stable. Again, you can get big heavy ones, like Stuart's got a big heavy one, which which is really good because it doesn't yeah, take all vibrate or anything, it's, but yeah. then you've got that It's a little bit annoying shape. carrying it, but it's not, it's not that heavy, but 
when you put it down, it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It's so strong and stable. Yeah. <laughs> I laugh when I hear that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, strong and stable. But me, I tend to use the portable ones. So mine are really small, a little yeah. bit flimsy. But um, that's what we're filming this on. It's a little bit of a windy day out here. And Seems to be all right. Shouldn't, don't look shouldn't like it's any, any shape. No, I'm not as clumsy as Stuart, so I don't knock mine about. So if you're a bit like Stuart, if you have too many gins, maybe you do need <laughs> a real big heavy one. Yeah, we might need a bigger heavy one later because we're doing a live we've video. Got, we've, got some, we've got some drink lined up for later. Yeah. <laughs> what else do you need to think about? So a couple, got... couple of other little gadgets as well. So I said about normal, like a big tripod. Yeah. Um, this is a gorilla pod, which I find really useful because you can just put it down this. You're taking photographs or video or anything like that. Really handy because you can kind of wrap it around things put it somewhere oh, I've, I've not used that oh it's really good it is really useful and most of the time i'm just using it yeah. sat on the side somewhere but like if you're doing your summer house there you could you could literally wrap it around the balustrade at the top and and it it will stay there the other little thing that i've got that i tend to use obviously is a little selfie handheld thing yeah it, it's telescopic but i tend to use it just like that just because it's a little bit easier when you're trying to film what make is that, that rather than hold the phone because you've got to kind of hold the yeah. phone without getting in where the camera is in what make is that i one? don't know what this is oh, okay. it's, it's it was just a cheap one it's not a very fancy one and again for me for a selfie stick it, what do you, you need it does it what it does be, yeah yeah it, it's does pretty it good up to the phone so that you can press it does the button it does there is a button there for taking pictures but, but again, not video i don't use it no. i just press a button on the phone once and you're recording just, you can set it all the other stuff out can't yeah. you yeah, uh, the reason I got this one because it does actually double up as a little tripod as well. So if I quickly need to make it into a tripod, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I can do that as well. Yeah. But I haven't actually used that, but I've used that quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, those are the things that I think are, are sort of. So you've got your video. Well. Um, you've got good at it because you've done it a hundred times got the synced audio but what do you do how do you get that now onto youtube and looking so you've smart got, with words and now you've that got kind to of edit stuff. it haven't you so we use premiere pro yeah. which is part of the adobe creative cloud suite you can get it on its own it is quite expensive if you're going to be doing a lot of video it's well worth getting you can't it it's complex as well so it is if you want to do things like green screening if you want to put, um, you know, mess around with the light in and the yeah. put put graphics into it, words, images, you know, all this. basically you can make a film on it, couldn't you? Yeah, it's yeah. good enough to do anything you want to do. Yeah. But there's also that then overcomplicates it. So I get frustrated because I want to do a simple task, and then I I pretty much only ever do five or six things the same. Yeah, and I. Most of them I can remember, but you always get that, oh, how do I do that again? Well, with, with and there's so much there, you can't always yeah, remember. With, with the Creative Cloud, Cloud Suite, you get a program called Rush. I don't know if you've yeah, seen see, that. Yeah, see, I don't, I know you said, but I just, that, once that, I know that, something, that, I just want to stick basics. to it. <laughs> so it yeah, it's that's true. literally about bringing all the different bits in, chopping off the bits that you don't want, and, yeah. then, and that's your, your video. Whereas Premiere Pro, will like you say it will do all the fancy stuff to yeah. a point but then again i also use after effects and it works seamlessly with premiere pro you've not really dealt with after effects have you like i say i for me like i'm struggling to remember everything on premiere so i yeah. don't really want to learn something else again on top no. of that but the after no, effects, i do so, but so on our videos just, where you see like the, the whirling yeah. logo I'll let you, I'll just let you do if, those bits. If we do text, which comes yeah. up and the text is in sync with us speaking, all sorts of... Let's do the wordy pieces, thing the, now. The, the logo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, having a logo coming up through clouds or something like that, all those sorts of yeah. things. It, it's, it's, yeah. it's brilliant for that, it, but it's very, very complicated. Yeah, that's it's, even more complex. It, it is. But um, another one that... You, that is really good is obviously Photoshop and that's the big one that everybody heard about and it's for editing photos yeah and for upcyclers that's a really good program to have 
because yeah. you really need to be if you're not doing video you still really need to be doing photographs of your stuff presenting it in the best possible way and photoshop is brilliant for that but having said that you don't have to use photoshop there's lots of other yeah there's free loads i mean there. we just got the adobe suite so we use, we use all it. of those things all the time in, all, in our businesses and stuff but whatever i don't know what other alternatives there are once you've used photoshop and you've got good at it i don't think you ever will want to go and do some use something else so no. anything else we don't look at it do we really no but, but there's but there, there is, are loads of apps there's plenty out actually there. there's some really cool apps you can just use on yeah. your phone yeah Adobe make one called Spark Post, which is phenomenal. It's so good yeah. for Instagram and things like yeah. that. Instagram's great for upcycle businesses. Yeah. But yeah, it's so yeah, there's loads of apps. Oh, actually, there is one I've I've just downloaded an app, but I can't remember what it's called. Same thing. Then. Well, I'll, I'll put it in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Because I can't get on my phone because it's set up. It's a it's a little app, uh, an Android app. Yeah. And literally, you can do pretty much 20% of the stuff on Premiere. It's yeah. got loads of stuff. You can do all the scrolling text, merging it. And so this is all done on your telephone? On your phone, yeah, it's incredible. On... You could do the cut. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, but it's long-winded. It, it, it's, never, it's not as good as Photoshop. Like, but if you want something on your phone you can just do quickly, yeah. then, yeah, it's good. That's basic. Yeah, I think we've covered pretty much everything about video, yeah. why it's important, how to do it. Now you just got to crack on and do it. Yeah. Go on. Make a video. Hurry up. Tell us about it and we'll critique it for you. Uh, uh, seriously, on that note, we're happy to help out. If you've got a video or something, or you've got any questions, just pop it in the comments. Yeah. Send us some links or whatever. I'm, I'm more than happy to have a look. Send some um, advice or maybe um, you've got some advice for us that we can do better. Yeah. And I'll uh, take that on board. Stuart will ignore it, but <laughs> hey, it's worth a go. I just carry on with my <laughs> magical Photoshop and editing skills. Okay, guys, thanks. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you did, click Give subscribe like. and ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs>